Wings are here. Oh, from No, I'd never order from anymore. Popeyes now has wings in five flavors. Ghost pepper, roasted garlic parmesan, sweet and spicy, signature hot, and honey barbecue. Marinated in Louisiana spices, hand battered and flipped. Makes no sense they're five ninety nine for six pieces. Taste them. Mmm, crunchy outside. And juicy inside. Consider me a convert. That's the most romantic thing you've said to me all month. We don't make sense. We make chicken. Love that chicken from Popeye's. Price may vary. Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered Jumbacasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh, baby, mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa, take it easy, Judy. <laughs> The Chumba Life is for everybody. So go to ChumbaCasino.com and play over a 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. The makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to enjoy life, life with Luigi, a comedy show created by Cy Howard, directed by Mac Benoff, and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carroll Nash, with Alan Reed as Pasquale. And the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum are glad to bring you Life with Luigi because they feel it's a friendly, good-natured show that offers you relaxation and enjoyment. And you know, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum offers you relaxation and enjoyment, too. It's pleasant to chew on a smooth piece of Wrigley's Spearmint whether you're working, shopping, listening to your radio, or doing just about anything. Wrigley's Spearmint Gum tastes good, it's refreshing, and the good easy chewing gives you comfort and satisfaction. So chew Wrigley's Spearmint Gum often, every day. Millions enjoy it, and you will, too. Now, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum brings you Luigi as he writes another letter describing his adventures in America to his Mama Basco in Italy. There's one thing about the American, everything he's to do, he's to do quick, fast, to hurry up, like with Easton. I'm a thinking when American eats, he's open up his mouth only one time for the whole meal. Because <laughs> they even got a special inventions that lets you eat faster. Like one big American invention that lets you eat the lunch in two minutes. That's right, it's called the hot dog. <laughs> And then if America's very hungry and he's got more time, he's eat what you call the hamburger. This takes uh, maybe four minutes. <laughs> Come on, Mamiya. American, he hates to waste his time eating, and he would be very happy if he could uh, be and live like his car. Fill up once a week and be finished. <laughs> but the reason I write to you all this, Mamma Mia, is because maybe I'm going to try to be too much like American. I eat the fast, and I'm going to feel sick. I'm not able to sleep in the night, so I'm going to go next door to my country, Mano Pascal. Luigi, my friend. <laughs> hello, Luigi. Hello, hello. Hello, Pascal. Hey, Pascal, I, I want to ask you why I'm kind of sleeping at night. Oh, no wonder you got those little dark circles under your eyes, little cabbage puss. <laughs> I'm got a circles? In yes, it? also you got a blue puffs on the top of the cheek, your eyes, they bloodshot, and even that banana nose, it looks like it got up on the wrong side of your face. <laughs> Pascal, you think I'm a look terrible, huh? Yes, but it's all going to change if you marry my Rosa. <laughs> I'm not going to do it again. I'm going to feel it terrible. <laughs> no, please, Pasquale, I'm, I'm coming to you for advice for sleep. Well, Luigi, you come to the right person. I know more than any doctor. Now, tell me, you tried the counting the sheep's? I'm going to use up a five stock yards. <laughs> hmm. Well, maybe you should have tried counting the meatballs and jumping over breadsticks. 
But that is not the funny to me. Ah, oh, but sorry, little man in the head. We're going to try to figure it out. Now, tell me, you, you sleep with the windows open or closed? Well, what's this I got to do? Oh, plenty. You need air. I want you to someplace. Uh, you got to leave your windows open uh, six inches from the top and uh, six inches mm-hmm. from the bottom so the oxygen can uh, sneak in. Oh, that's uh, Then you mean open the top and the bottom for the oxygen? Sure. That way you get the oxy from the top and the gin from the bottom. <laughs> Well, 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 maybe I'm going to try this, Pascal. Sure. Of course, there could be other reasons, too. Uh, do you uh, eat before you go to sleep? That's what I'm taught. What? Sure, I'm eating too fast before I'm going to sleep. Oh, no, no. You know that. Uh, you eat uh, light or heavy? Light. Well, that's your trouble. You should eat the heavy. <laughs> heavy? Sure. Ask any doctor. You eat a light, there's nothing to hold you down. You flop around on the mat. <laughs> But if you eat a heavy, there's a plenty to weigh you down. You lay there like a rock. <laughs> well, but well, I'm afraid you know, give me no help. I think maybe I'm going to my night school class, and, and, and they're going to help me out. I doubt, Sir Luigi, that could have never helped you because you're suffering from a bad, a bad, a psychological reason for sleeplessness. <laughs> sleeplessness? Mm. <laughs> well, what's that, Sir Pusquale? Guilty conscience. You mean, you mean I'm done something wrong? No doubts about it. But what, Pasquale? What, what, what I'm done wrong? You didn't marry Rosa. <laughs> stop it, Pasquale. Stop it, please. Stop it, Rosa. Talking. All right, all right. No more Rosa talking. No more wedding talking. Nothing. Forget everything. We're going to talk a plain talk. I did. <laughs> yeah, ask about you and me going to the movies tonight. Right? I got a nice picture with a Judy Holiday. All right, Pasquale. What's the picture? The marrying kind. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to do, no, Pasquale. You're going to be with the Judy. I'm going to be with the Jumbo. Listen, Luigi, what do you got to lose? Make the big test. Marry my daughter and see if that don't stop your troubles. No, no, Pasquale. What happens if, if, if I'm a married person and I'm still can't sleep in the night? Well, then at least we know that wasn't the reason. <laughs> Look for something else. Yeah, but but, but what's going to happen with Russia? Well, you could still keep her around for little things like uh, cooking your meals or having your kids. No, no, Pasquale. I'm better off for not to sleep in the rest of my life. All right, so Luigi. You made your own bed, but now you can't sleep in it. Look on yourself in the mirror how you look. How many hours of sleep did you get last night? Five. How many times I'm asleep before? Sometimes it's only three. Sure. Then is it going to be two, then a one. Then he's going to sell you bed to grow a tail and start taking a cat naps under the table. I'm not trying to scare you. Is it just that I can see a terrible finish for you? Listen, I once had a customer, Joe Maloney, had the same trouble. Once he couldn't sleep for 28 days, the doctors had to send him to Africa for the cure. Africa? That's where he got bit by the terrible tsutsu fly. <laughs> but, but, but how is that to cure him? The tsutsu flies to give him a sleep in the sick. <laughs> That's pretty terrible, eh? Luigi, believe in me, marriage is your best to bet. Well, take your pick, Rosa or the tsutsu fly. What's your answer? Well, I'm a dunno. I'm a never met the tsutsu fly. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> All the time you are, I've never done that. All right, guys, let's come to attention. Please, I'll call the roll. Mr. Basco? I'm here. Uh, Mr. Basco, you will do your sleeping at night at home, please. Well, I'm going to try the Miss Spalding, but that is impossible. What? Ach, let him yawn, Miss Spalding. It ain't often Luigi gets a chance to open up his mouth in the classroom. <laughs> oh, smile, fellow boobers. That was terrible, Witty. Well, anyway, it was terrible. <laughs> Please, let's get on with the lesson. It's a little late. Uh, today we are studying irregular verbs. Mr. Horowitz, name the three principal parts of all irregular verbs. With pleasure. The present tense, the past tense, and the past participle. Well, that's very good, Mr. Howard. This I won't argue with you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll study some verbs now. Mr. Olson, take the verb to drink. Present tense? I drink. Mr. Basco? 
I drank uh, Mr. Shaw. Uh, I, uh, I have... Uh... Drunk? Oh, no, never touched the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Please, and let's take the verb sleep now. Mr. Schultz, begin. I sleep. Mr. Olson? I sleep. Mr. Basco? I can't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. Basco, what are you talking about? Just say I have slept. Maybe you, but not to me. <laughs> oh, good heaven. And if I'm sorry, since I'm not going to sleep unless I'm going to let the genie from it, when I'm going to go to Africa for the tutsis to fly. <laughs> No reason are you for shimmers. <laughs> Quiet, all of you, please. Tobasco, you do look pale and tired. Don't you feel well? Well, I'm, 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 I'm just a kind of, kind of sleeper, Miss Pauling. That's all. Ach, that's just in Zania, Luigi. I wouldn't lose any sleep about it. <laughs> Luigi, take my advice. Tonight when you go home, take a hot bath and a little hot tea with lemon before you go to sleep. Uh, that's going to help me, Hattie. With you. You'll sleep like a baby. And you know how a baby sleeps. Up and screaming every ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I got, I got, I got the remedy, Luigi. You take, take half a dozen detective stories to bed with you and just keep on reading. Sure, so then I'm, then I'm going to fall asleep. Please. I guarantee by eight o'clock in the morning you'll be dead to the world. <laughs> uh, Luigi... Uh, there is only one way to woo slumber. Well, how's that, Mr. Olsen? Concentration. You, you close your eyes and let your mind become a total blank. Then you just let yourself drift into the arms of Morpheus. Impossible. Luigi's got a single bed. Smile, <laughs> <laughs> Luigi. Sleep, sleep ain't so important. Look, look at Napoleon. He only slept three hours a day. Three months. Mamma mia, is this true, Miss Balding? Well, according to history, it is. Napoleon has only slept for three hours a day. I'm a wonder why he did this. Josephine used to hog the blanket. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Didn't Thomas Edison sleep only two hours a day? That's what they tell us, Mr. Howard. Edison o o only two hours a day. Yeah. yeah, well, with, with Edison, it was different. The electric light kept him away. <laughs> Stop worrying, Luigi. Sleep ain't so important as long as you are happy. Oh, oh, Schultz. Medically speaking, you are mistaken. After the day's activity, the human body needs to recuperate. Yeah, but still, all uh, also, uh, consider the immortal words of Shakespeare. To sleep. To chance to dream. Hey. Yes, the Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a Turkish bar. <laughs> look, Luigi, if it bothers you so much, then you got to do something about it, that's all. I suggest you go to see a doctor, Mr. Basco. Hardly. Now, when did you have your last checkup, Luigi? I don't know, some I don't remember. Hmm. Uh, what was the doctor's name? Well, his name was uh, Salvatore Di Lorenzo. But go back and see him again. Go tomorrow. I can't for sure. So why not? His office is in Italy. <laughs> well, that's one good reason. <laughs> Miss Barling, you, you think I'm, I'm, I'm sure going to see the doctor? Well, I should think so, Mr. Basso. Insomnia may be caused by some physical disturbance as well as mental, and only a doctor can give you the facts. Uh-huh. That's what it is, uh-huh. Then, then what the doctor is going to do it to me? Stop worrying, Luigi. He's not going to hurt you. Of course. But what, what can he do to you, Luigi? Can he bang you on the knee with a hammer? Can he take out a few drops of blood to analyze? Can he stick a needle in you? Well, I can he shoot you. Well, certainly. <laughs> Believe me, if you don't need a doctor when you walk in, he makes sure you're going to need him when you walk out. <laughs> Before we return to Life with Luigi, here's a suggestion that may be a help to your success and popularity. Make it a regular custom to chew Wrigley's Spearmint Gum, at least a few sticks every day. You see, regular daily chewing is an easy, pleasant way to help keep your teeth clean and bright, your smile attractive. Then, too, 
Chewing Wrigley Spearmint Gum freshens your mouth and helps keep your breath sweet. So you naturally feel more sure of yourself at work and in your social activities. Yes, friends, bright, attractive teeth and mouth freshness are important to all of us. So make it a point to chew refreshing, delicious Wrigley Spearmint Gum, at least a few sticks every day. It's a wise thing to do, and besides, you'll enjoy it. Now let's turn to page two of Luigi Basco's letter to his mother in Italy. Well, mamma mia, I'm coming home from school last night, and I'm going to decide I'm going to try to sleep. So right away, I'm going to drink a hot cup of tea. But it's no help. Some start to drink in the coffee. But that's no help me to sleep neither. Finally, it's come in the morning, and I'm, I'm thinking, maybe I should go see a doctor when suddenly my door is open up. Well, how's it, Mr. Night Owl this morning? Hey, you're looking much better, little banana nose. I do? Yeah, I don't see those blue cycles no more. Ah, it's a good. They turn to black. <laughs> Mamma mia, well, well, that's the set that I'm, I'm going to take my class advice. I'm going to go to see the doctor. Eh, might be a good idea, Luigi. Tell me uh, what kind of a doctor you're going to see. Huh? Oh, just, just the plain of doctor, Pasquale. Ooh, what a big green horn. Don't you know in America they got a specialist for everything? Specialist? Sure, they got a hand doctors, a foot doctors, eyebrow doctors, a fingernail doctors. And if you don't know which thing hurts you the most, you go see a witch doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you talking about? What happens if you get a sick all over with the eyes of the nose, the feet, the throat, everything? Who are you going to see then? The insurance company. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm going to go to Wait, 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 Luigi. Your trouble is you don't sleep, right? That's right. Your body feels like it's asleep, but your head is obstinate, right? Yeah, that's right. Then if you obstinate, there's only one doctor for you. Obstetrician. <laughs> Up, 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 That's all right, and I'm going to send you to a good one, Louis. Are you sure he's a good one, Pascal? Don't worry, I sent him to six customers. He's never yet to fail to deliver. <laughs> That's the kind of fellow he is. Oh, good. Then, then, then what am I sure to tell him, Pascal? Well, you got to talk very strict to an American doctor, Louis. Right away, you tell him, Doctor, I'm expecting that you should cure me for my sleeplessness. <laughs> Doctor, I'm expecting you. No, no, no wait, wait, Luigi. Just to cut it short, he knows. Uh, <laughs> when you get to the obstetrician, just say, uh, Doctor, I'm expecting. <laughs> Like a distant doctor, I'm a expecting. Good. <laughs> now you tell him that. It's just like you said it to me. Here, I'm going to write down his address. Oh, thank you, Pascal. But, Pascal, you think this doctor, he's going to help me out? Luigi, I guarantee you, when you tell him what your trouble is, this doctors are going to help you right out. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Basco, is this visit in reference to your wife? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm a got to no wife. Oh, a friend? No, it's about me. What? All right, Miss Phillips. Go right in, Mr. Basco. Dr. Hart will see you now. Thank you, mister. Well, then, Miss Basco, how can I help you? And a doctor, you, you, up, 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 a situation? Yes. <laughs> well, I'm expecting him. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I'm expecting him. What? I'm, I'm not going to sleep tonight. Uh, uh, hello, look here. Uh, no, please, please, examine me. Examine me, you're going to sleep. Oh, no, no, there, 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 there. Just, just calm down, my good man. No, but it's not that I'm going to do your help very bad. Oh, pitiful. Uh, psychoneurotic. Psychoneurotic? <laughs> I'm going to help you, Mr. Basco. Uh, excuse me, please. All right, sir. Uh, hello, uh... Uh, Dr. Barron, uh, Phil, uh, this is Matt. Uh, look, I'm sending you a patient. Uh, he's a psycho. Uh-huh. <laughs> Quite far gone. <laughs> <laughs> to be harmless, 
A mother complex, perhaps. <laughs> no, I don't think he's trying to avoid the draft board. Oh, <laughs> uh, look, yeah, give him the once over, will you, Phil? Uh, thanks. Uh, now, Miss Basco, uh, I want you to go down to a third floor doctor's office. Room 319. Dr. Barron will take good care of you. That's nice. What the... What the, what, what the kind of doctor is it? It's a pleasure. Well, he's a kind of psychiatrist. What we call an alienist. Alienist? Ah, oh, sure. Who am I for the first time to send me to this alienist in the first place? Do oh, you, you believe you should go to an alienist? Oh, I'm sure. After the specialist who's a take care of the alienist. <laughs> Dr. Bannon, um, well, it's a, it's a four months since someone was slipping in my Mr. Basco, will you lie down on this couch, please? <laughs> lie down on the couch? Yes, yes. Just lie down on the couch. All right, but uh, you want to take the shoes off of her? No, 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 no. Just relax. There. Yes. <sighs> now, tell me, what's troubling you? Well, uh, like I'm a set of doctor, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to slip in a night. I see. Do you have financial worries? Huh? Are you in need of money? Mom, I mean, you finance the company, too. Huh? <laughs> no, no, Mr. Basco. I'm just trying to get at the root of your trouble. That's the origin, the very beginning of your trouble, usually found in childhood. Now, let's start at the beginning. Were there many children in your family? Just me. You were alone? No, I was with the my mom. <laughs> I mean, were you an only child? Well, not exactly. What do you mean? Well, I was Uncle Pietro's ghost. <laughs> you see, I'm a lover of him like like he's a belonger to the family. I see. He took the place of a brother, is that right? Sister, he was a girl of ghost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Well, go on. What else do you remember from your childhood? Well, uh, we was to uh, have a little farm, beautiful little farm. And it was, uh, it was all uh, filled up with the chickens and the roosters, and one a pig and, and a one a cow. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And uh, then uh, one day, I remember, was uh, when mother was uh, 70 years old, and, uh, and my mama, uh, my mama just sent me out to milk the cow for the first time. Yes, yes, go on. What happened? I'm a tip of toe out in the city barn. Yes. Cow was sleeping. Go on. I'm a sack of milk anyway. And what happened? Suddenly, cows will wake up and she's a holler so much, I'm going to let her keep her the milk. <laughs> hmm. I'd better make a note. Cow incident. Emotional shock. Possible I can spell, Mr. Basco. Possible <laughs> Freudian trauma. Well, Maternal guilt complex, atavistic behaviorism. No, please, the doctor, use the little words. I'm not going to afford the bigger ones. <laughs> Don't worry about my fees, Mr. Basco. Now then, think back. Do you remember anything around the age of two or three, some bad dreams, I perhaps? Three bad dreams, yes. Once I'm a dream, Mrs. Salat says the dog was a pull me around the room by my little night ago. Mm-hmm. A childhood neurosis that manifested itself in the unconscious state. No, I don't think it's so. When I'm woke up, the bear was the dog pulling me around the room. <laughs> well, go on. What else stands out from your early childhood? Well, nothing but a beautiful, a beautiful of memories and green the grass, the flowers, and me running around with the no shoes, the fishing by the lake, catching the butterflies, sleeping in the field, telling my mommies to call me in for the supper. Mr. Vasco. You long to return to your childhood, don't you? That's a good trick, doctor, but I don't think you could have done it. <laughs> Mr. Basco, try to understand. You have a mother complex, and mm-hmm. I'm trying to get at the cause. Tell me, as a child, did you play with dolls? No, no, no. Are you sure? Doctor, when I was a little, I was a little boy, not a little girl. Mr. Basco, <laughs> think. Did you love your mother? Yes, sir. Did you hate your father? No. Did you always sleep well? Yes, sir. Did you? Yes. I mean, no. Did you hate your father? Did you hate your mother? No. I mean, yes. <laughs> Mr. Rasko, stop it. You're driving me crazy. Well, what do you think you're doing it to me? <laughs> oh, boy, Scully, I'm... I'm so glad I'm home. What's the happen, Luigi? Look at you. Shirt hanging out, a face perspiring, a hair all wet. 
What happened? You went rowing in Lake Michigan without a boat? Yes, sir, I am. I had the worst day of my whole life. You was sending me to the opposite tradition. He's, he's sending me to any other doctor. He's asking me hundreds of crazy questions. And the worst part of all, I'm, I'm still not the cure of my sleepless, listless, and that's it. <laughs> Look, Luigi, don't give up. I just got the name of the biggest sleeper doctor in Chicago. No, no, but sorry, no, no more doctors, thank you. But Luigi, this doctor's got an MD. MD, what's that to mean? Makes dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Make the, you mean he, he could have making me sleep in the night, Sir Pascali? Goody, Luigi, this fella's such a big sleeper doctor, he could have make you sleeper for good. And he's a charge only a hundred dollars. hundred dollars? Well, Pasquale, I'm a never could afford that. Thing. Would you stop? Are you good, Angel? Pasquale, is going to give me you the money? Going to get... Oh, Pasquale, thank you so much. Hey, now I'm going to do you a little favor. Maybe you're going to do me a little favor. <laughs> What's the favor? Mary Russia? <laughs> you lucky pup for you. No, I'm sorry, I'm a doctor. All right, all right, Luigi. Look, we're going to make a deal. If my doctor cures of you, you're going to say yes, all right? Well, uh, let me see. Well, first I sleep at the night, so then we're going to see. All right, that's the deal. i got to call in the future Mrs. Luigi and tell her. Rosa! 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 You <laughs> Yes, my delicious little rye crisp. <laughs> Lost the sound out to Luigi. <laughs> I know Luigi. Hello, <laughs> Lost. Lost. Uh, Luigi might consider you for his bride if we could cure his sleeplessness. Oh, well, Papa, what are you going to do? Well, I made a day that tomorrow at 3 o'clock I'm going to lay out a $100 and take the Luigi to the sleeper doctor. Oh, thank you. Thank you again, Pascal. You're really friendly. Oh, but Papa, why wait till tomorrow afternoon? I can cure Luigi now. How? I can come in every night and bang him on the head with a hammer. Ooh. <laughs> Come on, Rosa. It's almost the three o'clock, and Luigi should be ready to go to that sleep, Doctor. But his door's closed, Papa. Well, so what? We open up. Luigi! Hey, Luigi! It's funny, I thought he'd be waiting for us. Maybe he's in the kitchen, Papa. Now, come on, and we look for him in the back. Papa, <laughs> look! Luigi's asleep! Sleep? Must have got us so tired, he finally fell asleep. <laughs> Hey, Luigi, Luigi, wake up. What's up? What's up? What's up? Get up, Luigi. You must have dozed off on your feet. No, no. I, I was just taking my little afternoon nap. Wow. <laughs> but, uh, but now I'm ready to go to the sleep, Doctor. Wait you, a Pascale. minute. Wait a minute. Did you say afternoon and nap? Well, sure. I'm going to take it every day. Every day? Oh, no. Oh, from... Uh, from a one to five. <laughs> you mean you've been asleep in four hours every day and you think you've got a trouble? Well, sure, that's what I told you. My biggest trouble is I'm not going to sleep in the night. <laughs> <laughs> where, where are you going? And, and you're taking me to the sleep doctor? No, Luigi, go yourself. Yeah, but where are you going? I'm going to the psychiatrist. <laughs> The makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum hope you enjoyed tonight's episode of Life with Luigi. And they want to remind you that you can enjoy the comfort and satisfaction of chewing delicious Wrigley Spearmint Gum just about any time or any place. Chew a stick whenever you feel tense or need a little refreshing lift. Enjoy Wrigley Spearmint on the job, in your home, and when you're on the go. It always tastes good. And the smooth, pleasant chewing helps keep you feeling at ease and satisfied. So slip a package of refreshing, delicious, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum into your purse or pocket. 
Keep some handy all the time and enjoy it often, as millions of people do. The makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to be sure to listen next week at this time when Luigi Basco writes another letter to his Mama Basco in Italy. Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production. Pat Burton is associate producer. The script is written by Mac Benoff and Lou Derman and directed by Mr. Benoff. J. Carol Nash is starred as Luigi Basco and Alan Reed as Pasquale, Hans Conrad as Schultz, Jody Gilbert as Rosa, Mary Schiff as Miss Spaulding, Joe Forte as Horowitz, Ken Peters as Olsen, and Hal Marsh as the Doctor. The music is under the direction of Lud Gluskin. This is Charles Lyon. This is the CBS Radio Network. Wings are here. Oh, from... No, I'd never order from anymore. Popeye's now has wings in five flavors. Ghost pepper, roasted garlic parmesan, sweet and spicy, signature hot, and honey barbecue. Marinated in Louisiana spices, hand-battered and flipped. Makes no sense they're $5.99 for six pieces. Taste them. Mmm, crunchy outside. And juicy inside. Consider me a convert. That's the most romantic thing you've said to me all month. We don't make sense. We make chicken. Love that chicken from Popeye's. Price may vary. It is Ryan here, and I have a question for you. What do you do when you win? Like, are you a fist pumper? A woohooer, a hand clapper, a high fiver. I kind of like the high five, but if you want to hone in on those winning moves, check out Chumba Casino. At chumbacasino.com, choose from hundreds of social casino style games for your chance to redeem serious cash prizes. There are new game releases weekly plus free daily bonuses. So don't wait. Start having the most fun ever at chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. DTW, void, we're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions 18 plus.